I tried the $65 shirt. Is it worth it? Keep on watching to find out more. Now, if you're anything like me, you like to try new clothes, you see all the great ads online, and like, how many different t-shirt companies are there now? Like a bazillion? And I don't know if anyone else does this, but do you ever like tend to buy like nice things and not wear them because they're nice and you don't want to ruin them? Kind of defeats the whole purpose of having nice clothes in the first place. And I've actually had this Robert Barraquette tee for like a couple months. I'm sure I super annoyed the people <laughs> at Robert Barraquette. So I apologize, Elise and everyone else. It took me so long to do this because frankly, I didn't want to try on a shirt they didn't like, it was too expensive. And I felt bad wearing it and ruining it or whatever. So this is the first time I've actually tried on this shirt. It is $65. And that's a lot for a shirt. I went and did a quick check. The shirt that I wear most of the time and a lot of these different reviews are actually Buck Mason t-shirts. I love them. And guess what? They're now 45 bucks. Inflation is boo. So I got this shirt, got a couple other things. I'll try them on for you here real quick. This is the classic pack they have. You can save some money by getting a three pack. But man, I thought there's no way I could love this shirt. I, I honestly did. I thought there's no way this shirt could be worth $65, but I'm really pleasantly surprised. Now, would I go and buy a $65 shirt all on my own? Probably not. But would this be a great, awesome Christmas, Father's Day present? Absolutely. And get the three pack because you'll save some money and you get a little bit of variety. But let me talk just a little bit about Robert Barraquette, what they stand for, and then let's dive into the details of the shirt. Cool? We'll do it. All right, Robert Barraquette is a Canadian company. They're actually based in Montreal. It says all over their stuff, like, hey, it's a Montreal company. That's great. They are obsessed with the tiniest details on their clothes. They have 100% uh, USA made Pima cotton, I believe is, is, the, is the technical um, cotton that they have. And when people say like attention to detail, you first think like, I don't know, they have like fancy threading or whatever, but there's no branding on the shirt. And I love shirts that are like just super clean, don't have a lot of branding on them, but they are comfortable and they look good on. It does have a couple of subtle details like this hem here. It's kind of a split, split hem. It's also curved in the back so you don't get the plumber's crack, but it makes for a great shirt that looks really good. And frankly, I didn't know what to expect when I got this. I literally put it on for the first time. I like this really crappy mirror over here. It's like a little bit warped even. And I was like, whoa, it's a good looking t-shirt. It holds its shape really well. This is straight out of the bag that it came in and it's super soft, super comfortable. And I was like, wow, this is an awesome shirt from the very first time I put it on. Now, can you get a cheaper shirt? Yes, of course. We've done reviews of Fresh Clean Tees and of uh, True Classic Tees. And those are the Honda Civics of the world. This is the Land Rover when I drive or Mercedes of the world. It's just like that little bit extra. You feel a little bit more confident wearing it. You look good wearing it. And I just love that there's no branding. It fits well and it just looks good. I love basics. I love this thing. I think it comes in like 38 different colors. So if you don't like black, I tried on black first. I'm gonna try on white here for you in just a second. Just to show you what it looks like. Sometimes pokey chest hair can come through. I also got a polo that I'll try for you real quick. But I mean, Nothing much more to talk about this shirt than it's incredibly comfortable. It felt cool to the touch when I put it on. So one of our first hot days here in Colorado. And it just looks good, doesn't it? So let me try on a couple other things here for you and I'll tell you what I think. We'll also do a quick check on the white version of the shirt and I'll give you a close up too so you can see just some more details. Let's do it. All right, here I'm gonna try on this white shirt but I thought I'd do a quick little overview for you before I put it on here. Um, as I mentioned in the beginning, everywhere it says like they're very proud to be, whoops, that's in French. Oui, oui. Montreal there. The Barricade T. Shape, retention, engineering. 
color locking technology, USA grown, 100% Pima cotton. And it's 100% cotton, it is. It's, it doesn't feel like 100% cotton. This white one is very, very slightly wrinkled right out of the box, but you know, it's not that, that big of a deal here. But it's got some real nice, just subtle details. I mean, it looks high, just high quality around the, the collar. And there's no other branding on this at all. I love shirts. I read this article a couple days ago. There's like the, the thing about rich people and how they dress. And the long story short is that like, they dress in a way that only rich people know they're wearing expensive clothes. And uh, that's a little bit like this. I mean, look at that. That was just nice tailoring, nice fit right there. Once again, I do have uh, some prickly chest hair. I know it's a little bit TMI, I don't have a ton. But um, sometimes white shirts, uh, this is a size medium, I wear a size medium and, and everything else. Sometimes white shirts can poke through, so let me try it for you real quick and I'll uh, show you what I think. All right, I know it's gonna be a little bit of a TMI for so many people here, so I apologize. I have to hold my microphone in my hand or else you'll, you'll see it here, this is the microphone. But uh, if you do have a little bit of a prickly chest hair, then I'd probably recommend staying away from their lighter colors. Um, you can just see that very clear on there. I was hoping that wasn't the case for me, but if you do have a smooth chest, it'd probably be just fine. I do tend to like have the prickliest hair. Not a lot of it, but it just kind of po pokes through there. So stay away from that if you do have prickly um, hair, but it doesn't look super wrinkled when you put it on, even though I just put it on. Let's get this microphone. Sorry for holding it like this. Didn't want to attach it because you'd see it. Um, but yeah, it, it's okay. Uh, just stay away from the white colors or else if you have prickly hair, it'll poke through. I'm self-conscious about it, so I just uh, stay away from it wherever I can. But you can see it kind of, there it is again. It's a weird, it always has, it's the same thing with any white shirt that's not quite thick enough. And frankly, I haven't found any white shirts that don't show that. So let me try in the polo here for you real quick and we uh, should be good to rock and roll. Now I have on the Robert Barraquette polo. It does have some subtle detail here. Um, it's got a nice little, like, little thick line in here. I'll do a close up of it here in just a second. This is my microphone once again. So in case you're looking at it and be like, what is that weird thing on him? That's what it is. Um, I'm once again, pleasantly surprised with this. Once again, 100% cotton. It looks good. It feels comfortable and light to the touch. I dig that a lot. Feels just great on. Um, do you have a little bit, tiny bit of the prickly hair um, thing going on here, but I wouldn't be afraid to wear this um, without you know, undershirt or anything. I hate wearing undershirts, I never do. So I just wear darker clothes or clothes that don't just so, show that at all. But I like this polo shirt too, and I typically don't like different colors, but I actually like this. Once again, all about the subtle details. Um, got some nice hem in here. All right, now who is Robert Barraquette not for? Robert Barraquette is not for the person that wants the absolute cheapest t-shirt. They're also not the, for the person that wants the tightest t-shirt or the flashiest t-shirt. It's literally the person that would drive an expensive car without branding on it because they know that it's expensive, they like the finer things in life, and it's just not for the person that's gonna be you know shopping at Walmart for t-shirts. Nothing wrong with that. I have plenty of fresh clean tees. I have plenty of Buck Mason tees, and they're great too. This kind of fits like the dressy tee um, part of my closet, which everyone's got it. You've got the dressy tees, you got the you know mid-range tees, and you've got like the mowing lawn tees. This will probably never get down to the low end lawns tee section of my, of my uh, dresser, but you know what I'm talking about. Who is Robert Barraquette for? Well, it's for the person that doesn't want to scream, hey, I'm wearing high quality clothes. They want people to notice, hey, you know, that is a nice looking shirt. I I really like that shirt. And people are, oh, you know, let me tell you about this brand. It's called Robert Barraquette. It's awesome. They're a little on the spending side, but it's super high quality. And it just looks good. And it's comfortable on. I always tell my son, look good, feel good. And sometimes you gotta feel good and look good in order to get something done. So. You're gonna feel good putting this on. You're gonna look good wearing it. And I actually really like it. I did not think I would whatsoever. I probably would not buy it for myself because I'm too cheap, 
but it's a perfect, and I mean perfect birthday, Father's Day, Christmas present for the dad, the dude in your life. Incredibly comfortable, incredibly well made. And I've got nothing but great things to say about Robert Barraquet. I'm very pleasantly surprised. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know in the comments below. I hope to see you again real soon.